uh, the Park Service mows his lawn, the, the Defense Department uh, does most of his chores for him, does, handles most of the White House expenses for him. And it's charged to their budget, not to the White House budget, so the, the White House budget is a dishonest budget. They have ways of hiding things. Uh, take welfare. Uh, welfare, people complain that uh, the welfare payments are not high, but every government agency is, in, is engaged in, in the welfare program because the government uh, the, the requires, laws and regulations requires that each government agency uh, devote uh, part of their money to the high equal opportunity, for example, and meeting so many other requirements that are really intended to benefit welfare and should be charged to welfare. I'm not opposed to these programs, mind you. I'm not opposed to social programs. I think they're very noble. But I think that the time has probably come and we ought to know what we're spending our money for. If it's welfare, it ought to be called welfare, and we ought to know that it's going for welfare. And we ought to know how much the bureaucracy is getting. We, the, the best of our calculations about when you spend money on welfare, about 30 cents goes to the real needy people. About 70 cents goes to the care and feeding of the bureaucrats. Why do we have a bureaucracy? Well, a bureaucracy is the curse, but the necessity of government. Uh, you, the, we could get along without the president for years at a time, and we have virtually. On some, with some duds in the White House, we've gotten along fine without presidents. Uh, we could get along without Congress and probably be better off for the absence. But we can't get along five minutes without the bureaucracy because bureaucracy does the chores for the federal government. Now, uh, the President of the United States, Bill Clinton, probably thinks that he's in charge, probably thinks that he's running the country. He is not. He is wrong. Uh, Congress probably thinks that they're uh, making the laws. They're wrong, too. We're ruled by a dictator, a benevolent dictator, and uh, its name is bureaucracy. And uh, I brought along, I had my cartoonist, I don't draw, but I brought along a cartoonist to show you who is running the show. This is the dictator of the United States. A benevolent dictator, a federal octopus, and in this case, he's doing the typical, uh, one of the typical things that government does. He's pondering the eternal question, which end is up, and he's pointing in every different direction at the same time. Uh, this is the way the bureaucracy answers your questions, and they have these undulating, they, they have these octopus-like tentacles, these octopus-like arms, these undulating, weaving arms that pamper you and caress you and make you feel good, particularly those who are in power. And all the time, uh, the bureaucracy uh, feeds on greenbacks, gets most of the benefits. Now, the benefits in the welfare program, for example, they'd be outraged if I should make the public statement is that I just made, saying that they get 70% uh, of the money, 70 cents out of the welfare dollar, and the welfare recipient gets 30 cents. But it's true. It's hard to prove, but we, we've pretty well nailed it down. Now, they don't get it for administering the program. They get it for studying things. They, they have all kinds of bureaucratic projects that only the bureaucrats can do. So they wind up getting 70 cents out of the dollar. They study how hungry the poor are, for example. Well, the poor don't care to have the, their hunger studied. They know how hungry they are. They don't need a study of how hungry they are. Uh, they already know that. They would rather not eat paperwork. They'd rather eat food. And so they get less food, and they get more paperwork, and the paperwork requires they are hiring more bureaucrats. You spend some time talking about Medicare, a $200 billion budget annually now.